Hello, my name is Dr. Estrada. I am a professor of history, and that means I teach university and college level history courses. I have taught courses at USC, UC Irvine, Occidental College, Leola Marymount, Cal State Fullerton, and many, many more. So what do you need to teach at a college? An advanced graduate degree is the most common. I've earned five degrees, including a PhD, which is the most common degree to teach at the college university level. And as you can also see, I started at a two-year college and finished up at USC with my doctorate. And that's okay. It took me a while, but I made it. And I am now a tenured professor at Long Beach City College. So if you want to be a professor, college is incredible incredibly important. You need to do it. You need to finish to become a professor. Here I am as I earned my AA degree at East LA College, my bachelor's degree from Cal State Long Beach. Here I am when I got my first master's in 2002. And this time really changed my life. Incredibly important. I started to realize that reading, writing, and research was something I would want to do as a career. I really love school. I love learning and I love knowledge. But by far, the most significant was my graduate work at USC, where I spent six years of my life full time studying to earn my PhD in history. A lot of good times too, some bad, but a lot of good times and having a good football team was also a lot of fun. And there I am graduating with my PhD as I was hooded by my faculty advisor, George Sanchez. So I am an American historian and I teach all kinds of American history over thousands of years, separated by thousands of miles from the American Revolution to the Vietnam War, to the Civil Rights Movement, and especially examining the role young, brave people played in earning many of the rights that we have today. So you young people, you are more important than you think. Also study the exploitation of child labor these kids didn't go to school and they worked 12 to 15 hours every day, six days a week, right? But by far, my favorite is ancient America, especially the Aztecs, to the vibrant lifestyles and colors, to the amazing metropolitan regions like Tihuatihuacan, which is just north of Mexico City, and the dynamic grid city buildings the ancient Mexicans created in their fantastic cities like Tihuatihuacan to the incredible buildings and pyramids. And by the way, Mexico is home to the largest pyramid in the world. To the vibrant fresco murals of ancient America describing sacred mountains and creation narratives. But as a professor, my real research expertise is in the 20th century history of environmental planning of major transportation projects like freeways. And I've written and spoken a lot about the history of freeways and their consequences. Now here's more of my job as a professor, which is researching, in this case, urban pollution and its negative health impact on children. And this is a big part of what I do. This is a big part of being an active professor research, writing, and public speaking outside of the classroom. I am a public historian, and I share my research with interesting parties. Here you see a small section of the articles I publish over the years in the public speaking engagements for both the academic world and then for the general population. So being a professor means that you're very busy, or you should be very busy writing and researching. Which I'm doing here. But remember, I wasn't always a college professor. And it took me a while to find my path, and that's okay. So let me quickly, in my previous jobs I had, I was an EMT. I was an ambulance driver. I worked at UPS for four years during my undergrad. I was a journalist, I was a substitute teacher because I wanted to be an elementary school teacher. I love the kids, but I decided to go the college professor route. So quick review to, as we wrap up, to be a college professor, you need a graduate degree, very commonly a PhD, 
known as a doctor of philosophy. To teach at a two-year college, you'll need a master's degree. And if you really want to get hired, you'll need experience teaching your own courses. And good professors do a lot of work, including teaching many courses every semester, research, writing, and publishing their own work, community service, which means that you share your expertise in order to help people, and of course, helping students succeed academically and assisting them in other methods, such as writing letters of recommendation, editing their resumes, and connecting them to social uh, services they need. So I love history. I, I love my students, and I love being a professor. Uh, thank you for watching. Good luck on your career path. Study hard, and I know you'll get there.